Welcome back guys, welcome back to Crown Geek. Now many Windows 10 and 11 users have the problem while installing the BlueStack 5 or 10 and they get an error message, BlueStack error 2004, something went wrong, installation failed. So if you're getting the same message, same error while installing BlueStack, then there can be multiple reasons, but we will be discussing about the solution first that how you have to fix it. So let's quickly get started. Now this can be because of some kind of corrupted file, any kind of integrity violation. So first you need to click on your windows search, type cmd, right click on the command prompt, choose run as administrator, then click on yes. Now here you have to type and run two different command and both this command you will find in the description. You can copy and paste. So copy from the description, make a right click on the command prompt and it will be automatically pasted and then you have to hit the enter key now this command will take some time so once this command will be finished we can proceed with the next one so meanwhile what we can do you also need to make sure that you have the enough space in your drive where bluestack is trying to install so you can check that by bringing up the file explorer uh, click on this pc and now here you have to look for the drive where the bluestack is installing and you have to assure that there should be at least 5 to 8 gigabyte of free space. It's the minimum but I would recommend that there should be more space. But in case if you are going out of storage, then what you can do, right click on the windows icon. From the suggestion click on settings. In the settings here you will find an option of a storage. Click on it. Now this will be calculating all kind of space occupied by different categories. Okay, so you can see that I have installed app, then I have temporary file and this is a virtual machine guys. So it's around 1.16 gigabyte occupied by the temporary file, but probably on your end, much more space occupied by temporary file. So what you will have to do, you need to click on temporary files. Then here you may find previous windows installation. You have to check that option. Then you will find the download option. If you don't need the downloaded item, check this option. You will also find the recycle bin and if you don't need it also check the box of recycle bin system recovery log file and check all the below options once you are done you have to click on remove files click on continue and this will be deleting the temporary file from your computer okay so once you are done with this again come back to the black window and we can see the command is completed so the next command will be sfc space forward slash scan now. Hit the enter key again. Again this will be scanning for any kind of integrity violation. Okay so the command is now completed and you can see that it says windows resource protection found current file and successfully repaired them. Okay so once it's been done you can close it. Now you will have to restart your PC. Restart the computer. And once restarted bring up the downloaded file of blue stack now this time make a right click on it and then choose run as administrator so this time when you will try to run it i'm very sure that you will not be getting any kind of error message but in case still if you are getting the error or installation failed message then next what you will have to do to click on your windows search type update click on check for update and here click check for update again and if there is any kind of windows update available for your windows 10 or 11 kindly go ahead and update it now majority of the time outdated windows can also cause this kind of problem because of any kind of bug okay and that bug basically get fixed in the newer update so you will have to go ahead and update it in case the previous methods doesn't work but let's say that after updating your windows also you have the same problem then you also need to make sure that your virtualization is being enabled so you can make a right click on the windows icon then click on task manager click on the performance tab now on the right hand side you will find the virtualization or the virtual machine option now it should be enabled here and if enabled it will say yes and if it says no it means it has been disabled so if it's been disabled then you will have to enable it first from the bios for which i have already created a video that how you can enable it quickly from the bios you can watch that video then come back to this video to proceed with the further steps all right after this you also need to try disabling your antivirus program so if you're using any kind of third-party antivirus you can click on the system tray icon at the right hand corner 
look for that particular antivirus right click on it and choose quit after that again try to install your blue stack and i'm very sure that your problem will be now fixed now finally one more recommendation guys in case if you're trying to install blue stack 5 and you are getting this kind of message then you can also try going with the blue stack 10 and if you're downloading and installing blue stack 10 then you can go with blue stack 5 instead of 10 all right so hopefully guys this all complete information and suggestion will surely help you to get rid of this problem and if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye